Hello guys, this is Universal Giant. Welcome back for more of Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. In the last episode, we headed through the planet of Cerulean and wound up here at Ikor Military Base, where the spawn ship is docked, and hopefully where we'll be able to find Lupus. And these guys love shooting each other. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. I usually go through here without any sort of care in the world about my own health, because there's a full health Gemini right there, but... If I'm gonna die here... Nah, I don't think I will. But, uh, yeah, just... If there, you got a full health Gemini in the room, don't really care about taking damage. Because you can fill up right there. And those were all the enemies in the room! So, uh, I was a little bit too careless there, but I haven't died yet. So we can head into this room. Now, keep in mind, this is a military base. And as such, there are a lot of enemies here. So be on your toes, especially in this room. There are a ton of enemies in this room. And for some reason, the snipers up on that tower don't spawn until later. And I would have very much liked for those guys to have run towards me so I could collect their ammo when I kill them. In fact, that's probably a better idea. Let's take things nice and slow. I'm running low on machine gun ammo, and I could certainly use more. And I don't want to stay out here too long, because there are the snipers in the tower. just want to get myself some ammo. Not sure where it wound up. Quit shooting me! I think the snipers over there did not spawn yet. Okay. And you are as good as dead, buddy. Yeah, next we're going to take out the snipers on the tower that are right in front of us that I can finally deal with, because I don't think any more ground drones are going to come anytime soon. But I could be mistaken. And now the snipers on the other tower have spawned. Good for them. Let's get out of the way, then. Can we take them out from here? I certainly hope we can. I should probably do a little bit more moving and strafing so they don't hurt me. Yeah, I think I got them both. Now we can deal with the other set of drones that are going to come in from the left side now. And there's one more tower of snipers, and I could have sworn I killed you, but I didn't. Yeah, there are a ton of them over there. And a ton of barrels here, too, so just, uh... Watch out for the explosions. Of course, they don't know any better. You drop ammo too? Wonderful. There's a blue key door over there that's locked that you'll see leads to a new area. We can't get there yet because we don't have the blue key. I don't think we have it with anyone. We will get it eventually, though. Either Juno or Vela can get the blue key. So we will be back there later. And more snipers. Yeah, just, I'll walk right into your shot. What a smart guy I am. And that's everything. I heard the door open up. So now let's refuel our ammunition supply, because that's totally how you refill your ammunition. You refuel it, you dump fuel into it. But before we go down there into the Life Force door that opened up, we're going to be heading up here first. You'll see down to the right, there's a blue key door on the left which you can't go through, and a life force door. The life force door is where we're going to wind up, but we don't want to head there just yet. First, we'll head... Actually, we're not heading in here. This is another way we can get to the area that's locked by the blue key, with another blue key door. That's probably the entrance I'll be taking when I come back here. But first, I want to see if I can sneak up on this guy over here that should be facing the opposite direction, which is why I came from here. He is a big dude, and in the hallway he's guarding are a lot of barrels. So let's just blow him up. And see, if we came from the other direction, look at all these barrels he would have blown up in our face. That's why I like to take the entrance that's over the blue key door rather than the life force door. And in here is where we would have wound up if we took the life force door. Let's see if we can snipe out. Ah, you know what? I'm not feeling like taking on this room yet. Because there's one other room up here that I'd like to go in before we tackle the room down there. And because I'm an impatient son of a gun, I'll just run down there and shoot him up the same way I did when I came in. The very beginning. Which probably isn't the best thing to do, because I almost died there. But I'm impatient, and I'm sure you are too. And you will appreciate it. Before we move on, there are two chests in here that we can open up. Two new weapons! For Vela, anyway. The first one here, 
the sniper rifle! Very useful, I'm not sure how often I'm going to be using it with Vela, though. And a slightly less important weapon, the flares. I believe everyone has access to every weapon, I could be mistaken, and the exit behind us that I'm foregoing will just take us all the way back around into that giant open room with all of the snipers and shield drones that we got to after we first went through the first area first. First. So let's jump down here and shoot some guys up. Yay! Like I said on the segment, this is how I like to deal with the small shield drones. Just run around, strafe around them, shoot them with the machine gun. You can just find a nice hiding place and keep yourself comfortable. Like an air-conditioned room. Just sit in an air-conditioned room sniping these guys all day. Me? No. I just like to run down here and shoot them up, because I'm impatient. That should do all four of them, and now we can go through the Life Force door here and continue forward. However, there is one area we haven't explored, and that's up here behind this glass. Now, I could put this off until later, but I feel like doing it now. Remember the little pads over here? One I pointed out was on the SS Anubis, and the other one I pointed out in Goldwood. These are Floyd missions! They're really, really annoying. I'll explain why when we start them. But first, before we leave, pick up the cluster bombs, which I will never use. Now, each Floyd mission takes one Mizar token, and only one of the... Well, two of them are required, but one of them's too easy to actually remember to be difficult. All of them have primary objectives and secondary objectives, but all of them you need to... If you want to get a good rank on them, you have to complete them in a certain amount of time. So here's Floyd, and he flies really wonky-like. And uh, I guess it would be an understatement to call his controls floaty. But in this mission, the Ikor mission, we have to collect as many oil cans as possible in as little time as possible. So I'm just going to be flying around, not really caring about collecting anything, because I'm just showing this one off for the sake of showing it off. And I'll try uh, I'll, a, a couple of attempts to get as good a rank on this as I possibly can. Ideally, I'll get a gold rank because I'd like to show off something you get for it, which we wouldn't be able to show off until later anyway. But I will do my best to get a gold rank on it. If I get bored of it or just, you know, I can't stand to play this anymore, then I'll quit and come back or something. But I will try to get as good a rank on this as I possibly can, unlike what I'm doing now, which is probably going to be a bronze or a silver medal. But all of them you can gold rank if you try. Yeah, that's a silver. And now that we have the silver medal, we can see that there are secondary objectives as well, like collecting 50 or more oil cans. Not sure if there are more than 50. But if I do better than a silver medal in the next five or so attempts, I will show you! There we go! Arcade ship! Ugh, I lost count. That was less than ten tries, but ugh, that was annoying, let me tell you. Okay, now that my heart is racing more than it has at any other point in this game, we've won the arcade ship, which we get for gold ranking that mission. You can also expert rank, but god, I will not expert rank anything. The only thing I'm going to expert rank is the mission that is impossible not to expert rank. So we head in here, and I've done this room so many times that I know you can just homing missile that dude twice, and he blows up. 
get these two tribals behind the barrel quickly because a couple of shield, well, more than a couple of shield drones will come running around from all angles to shoot you. They're here. See, there they are. What took you guys so long? I was waiting for you. But yeah, this is another one of those areas where we can't get all of the tribals yet. I will show you how to get all of the ones you can get at this point, just so I can speed my way through the next time we come through here. And I'm not paying attention to my health, because there's a health extension at the top of the boxes up there. You'll notice, I don't care about health if I know that there is a full health somewhere in the room. It'll come to a point in this game where I can't be so careless. But that point is not yet. Is the door open, or is there still a guy lurking around here? Hey, there you are. Hiding from me like that. And the door's open now, so let's go fill up on life. But before we do that, there are a couple of enemies down here that we want to deal with, even though we can go through the door right now if we want. These are flying drone things. They look like octopi. I, I don't know. And there are two tribals down here, and... A machine gun capacity upgrade. I it never found shooting at those tribals down there to be troublesome, nor have I found that the robot drones would come crashing down on them and explode and kill them. That's never happened to me in that particular room, but it does happen. You need to be very careful if there are tribals around not to shoot down flying drones, because you may very well have that flying drone explode on impact, killing one of the tribals. Now, this room I've had to redo a whole bunch of times, because this one sniper drone all the way up there, he's guarding a tribal. And occasionally, he'll blow himself up with a grenade, like the uh, other one just threw at me. And he'll take the tribal with him when he does that. So, you need to take him out as soon as possible. At least I like to, and uh, I can't get the crosshair over him. I don't want to duck out the door, either. Come on, control stick. You're not that terrible. Is the guy still even there? I see something moving up there. Well, somebody just threw a grenade at me. Yeah, I can't go too much further out here. I think he's dead. I'll assume he's dead. This sniper is really getting on my nerves. Okay, buddy. Death time. And a capacity upgrade. So, assuming that the sniper up there is dead, make sure he's dead before you come in here. Yeah, you guy threw a staff at me. These guys have big shields, so you really need to get around them in order to kill them. But yeah, the sniper that I was paying an absurd amount of attention to, even though we can't get him at this point, when you can get him, I found that to be one of the most troublesome ones to get. I mean, half the time I'm running into the room wondering why the hell did the tribal die? I didn't even know where he was, but yeah, that's usually the one that dies. And a very easily skippable tribal is right up there on top of the door. Of course, we can't get him yet either, so we will have to come back here and get all of the tribals later. I haven't decided if I'm going to speed them up or what, but we'll worry about that later. And there are a couple of tribals in the corners, too. I believe there are four tribals in this room, so there should be another one on the ground. Or maybe there are only three, but I'm not going to go out of my way to find them, because I'll do that later. So let's head through this door. And this is a very fun room. We do have tri-rockets, though, and they're going to come in handy. Now, we don't want to necessarily go up here yet, because the door is locked. However, I do like to go up here to get a better shot at the one drone that we need to kill here. Who's right over there. And as soon as we blow him up, the cinematic to the door opening will start, which I always found hilarious. Just as he blows up, and you can still see him blow up in the corner. I always found that amusing. You may also have noticed that there are tribals up there that we cannot collect. I don't know if we can actually get them with Vela either, so we will have to be back here with another character. Who? Well, hopefully we'll find them by the end of the week. Before we go, though, there's a little area down here that we need to explore, which is similar to the one two rooms ago. But instead of tribals down here, we have our last health capacity upgrade for Vela. And now we can make it past those moving pistons that are trying to push us off. And unlike Floyd, we can't just fly over them. 
these are actually going to involve some timing to get past. First one, fairly simple, just run past it, it moves nice and slow. This one will push you off if you're not careful. Well, they'll all push you off if you're not careful, I just pressed the wrong button. Instead of jumping back out of the way, I tried to duck. That was silly of me. But all of these involve proper timing. The second one here, although it moves fast, the first push is only a small way out, so you can still get past it there. I like to jump at the end just in case I don't make it. This one's fast, and then pulls back slow. Then goes fast and pulls back slow, so you can get across there. And the last one, I believe, is three fast, and then it pulls back slow. So you have to go after the third one. So right here you try to go, and voila, we made it!